So what's going on guys, it's Jeremy, it's Boxing. make sure you guys subscribe to this channel before you click on to any of the videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions on what I'm saying in any of the videos. Like always, it's appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel. So Sullivan Barrero has to get off the floor to come back and decisively beat Joe Smith Jr. in their 10 round WBC light heavyweight um, international fight. And this was a very interesting fight because Sullivan Barrera came out, he looked the sharper fighter, he looked straight away to be the better boxer in there technically, but Joe Smith Jr. landed a hard shot straight down the pipe that dropped Sullivan Barrera in the first round and then you thought, oh, here we go, Smith Jr. might actually be the real deal here, this guy might actually be a massive threat because this is another first round, big knockdown. And Smith Jr. went for the kill, but Sullivan Barrera's experience managed to help him weather the storm. And then Barrera came out in the second round, and he was the one who was outlanding and outworking Smith Jr. And this was the same pattern that was going on throughout the next seven or eight rounds. Smith Jr. just couldn't handle the work rate of Sullivan Barrera, who was just outlanding him. And just outworking him in the rounds. And it was just a good performance by Sullivan Barrera. Obviously, he was dropped by Smith Jr. I think Joe Smith Jr. can come again after this fight. But I predicted this anyway. I predicted that Sullivan Barrera would win the fight on points. I just thought that he'd be the technically better fighter. And that definitely showed in there. Sullivan Barrera's experience definitely showed in the fight as well. And Smith Jr. has a very basic style. He's just in there and he's there to take your head off. That's just his style, whereas Barrero, he's doing the more classy work in there. So, yeah, he deserved the victory in there, and he won the fight pretty convincingly. And Sullivan Barrero now will look for a world title shot. Who that will be against, I don't know, because Andre Ward has already beat him, and he is the unified light heavyweight champion. And you've also got WBC champion Adonis Stevenson, he now holds the WBC international title so will he be interested in that fight but everybody's queuing up to fight Adonis Stevenson like you got guys like Elida Alvarez who wants to fight um um Adonis Stevenson and you got Godsvik who wants to fight Adonis Stevenson like a lot of fighters want to fight Adonis Stevenson so it'll be interesting to see if Sullivan Brewer can get a world title shot for Joe Smith Jr he'll probably have to rebuild but you know what, he's had a couple of good performances against Von Farah and Hopkins and he did have his moments tonight, he did drop Sullivan Barrera in there and he could have got him out of there but he was just beaten by the classier fighter. But I think he can come again, he's young enough, Joe Smith Jr. And I think he could still be in some decent fights. Maybe Adonis Stevenson will fight Joe Smith Jr. now that he's like lost to Sullivan Barrera. It is what it is, comment below in the comment section, it's Jamie.